Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today, we got to talk about it, ladies and gentlemen. Credit. We're back. AG, problems. Now I find out my jeweler's problems. The credit bureaus are cracking down, trying to stop people from getting credit the easy way to improve their credit score. That's what happens when you have record high credit scores in 2019 for USA citizens. That means lower interest rates. They don't want that. That means you can get business credit. They don't want that. They want to be able to control things. So then you can be in neighborhoods like this. Only a select few. Because you're not going to be able to put down 20%, are you? On a $500,000, $600,000 house. Let's talk about it. And welcome to Fossey Optics. Check. Stop struggling now. Gear. Check. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now. Let's get to it! All right, welcome back. And as you can see, we're on the Stop Struggling Now YouTube channel page. I want to thank you once again for being here. And please share the videos. This can help thousands, if not millions of other people. Because a lot of people are working 9 to 5 and they don't have time to watch the news. Time to get updated with newspapers and magazines. So this could help people in 10, 20, 30 minutes at a time. So once again, we have a join button over here on the right hand side. And there's members of the channel and some of the live streams. You'll notice there's an icon next to the person's name. That means they have joined the channel. And they receive special messages under the community tab. And they also receive one or two videos per month under the community tab and it's all about investing and making money most of the time all right so please join if you think that'll be a good thing for you and let's get into it I'm gonna first start off with the situation there's an MJC my jewelers club AG attractive Jim jewelers Ox publishing Hutton Chase those were the main ones and there's a few others that have went by the wayside that have been reporting and there's gonna be a new thing coming out but I've been talking about this this is why I've been talking about investing your money and then using the investments to borrow against just like the top 10 percenters do all right but we're going to get into this President Biden's plan to change credit reporting and scoring of course they are now let's get things straight Equifax TransUnion Experian and all the rest of them they are not your friend This is not 1980s or before when the companies used to be able to just send in their report and say, hey, these are the people. This is their limit. This is what we're doing. They were just an information gathering place, spot, and then a company would pull a person's credit. Well, fast forward to the age of corruption where I'm a lender. I'm a bank. I'm paying you guys now. And I'm sitting there saying, hey. I need these guys to have a lower credit score. FICO. That's right. You, FICO. And uh, FICO says, well, you know, people have a great credit score right now. So I got it. We'll come up with FICO 4. Oh, no, that ain't good enough. No, no, no. We got to have a FICO 8. No, no, no. That ain't good enough. Well, anyhow, let's get to the bottom line about this Biden situation, because I want to show some people. Some people still think in America that everything is equal. They think that everything is fair, above board. Do you not see the problem? Racial disparities and credit inaccuracies. Racial disparities in wealth and credit. I don't know how many times I got to go over this, but it is real in America. I can live in one zip code. I go across the street in the same zip code and because I'm across the street my property is worth less because it's deemed in a lower economic environment so my property and home and land and all that's worth less meanwhile the other side of the street where they claim is the well-to-do side they have no problems 
with credit, wealth. No problem when somebody says your house is worth 700000 because you're in the well wealthy side of the street. The other side of the street over there, you're not in, so your house is four hundred and fifty. That's how they do it, ladies and gentlemen. And that works with credit as well. Don't let them fool you. I can have the exact same credit being a black person in America. I can have the exact same credit living in a so-called lower economic zip code as a person in a higher economic zip code. My credit score is going to be less. Right. Redlining, as you see right here, for decades, redlining shut black and other minority families out of the opportunity to use government-backed mortgages, mortgages to purchase homes. This is what Biden's claiming, that he wants to change and alter the credit bureaus. That's fine. But let's get real. America's founded on racial discrimination. It's founded on this kind of crap. All that's going to happen is, instead of there being an Equifax, a TransUnion, a SageStream, a LexisNexis, and all this other BS, it'll be turned into this agency. Nobody's coming to save you. So whether it's them or the Experians and all the rest, they're not here to save you. They're just here to consolidate. They're just here to talk a good game. You don't really want people to be equal, do you? I'm talking about the top 10 percenters, the powers that be, the ones that are trying to exclude a certain segment of the population from becoming wealthy. All right, I had to get into it because the Biden situation, when he's trying to consolidate and make it where, okay, we're going to have one uh, government-controlled credit bureau, you guys, come on. We already see the corruption in Washington. You think that there's not going to be some lobby which the credit card companies or the credit issuers and the lenders and mortgagers are going to try and change the program, change the rules? Of course they are. So now, what are we going to do? Well, what we're going to do is do what we always do as minorities in America. We adapt, we change, we overcome. No difference. So let me show you guys something. This is what happens when you know the playbook. When you know that FICO says, hey, you need 35% of your credit score goes towards payment history. 30% goes towards this. Notice that FICO and nobody else ever said, hey, you know what? If you have 10 accounts and they paid on time for 12 months, that means your credit score is going to have 70 points. Or let's call, I'll use real terms. That means your credit score automatically has 550 points. And if you have 30% of debt utilization or less, let's say you have 10% debt utilization, that gives you an extra 150 points. Notice they never give you the point amount. There's a reason. It's so they can do this redlining. It's so they can manipulate the system. So once you understood that this is what it took, 35, 30, 10, 15, and 10, they were like, oh my God. People are getting, they're smart. They're paying attention to this now because they know we can't get over anymore. We can't charge them 8% interest to when they get a home because now people are having 720 plus credit scores and they're figuring it out. Well, wait, we can get, we, we can only charge them 3.9. See? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the game plan. So this is why we have to stop AG Jewelers. My Jewelers, Ox Publishing, Hutton Chase, New Coast Direct. This is why we can't have it now. And this is why we also are going to come out with the FICO 10. FICO Resilience Index. Experian Boost. We got to come out with all this stuff. So this has to do with what Biden's talking about. This has to do with you. Everybody has gotten smarter and they figured out a way to improve their credit score. So let me show you something. This is 2019. A new report from Experian found that the average FICO score in the U.S. reached an all-time high in 2019 of 703. Up from 701 earlier and 14 points higher than back in 2010. Do you see that interest money evaporating? I do. So in 2019, this is when they come up with their next grand plan, the FICO 10. 
What does this all have to do with everything? I'm just laying it out for you, ladies and gentlemen. So you guys are don't be confused because I've been telling a lot of people when they said, hey, man, AG Jewelers scammed us, did this, did that. I'm like, they reported for six, seven years. They can't be scamming if they reported for six, seven years and they reported in November and for the majority they reported reported in January, then all of a sudden in January, TransUnion says, ah, no, nah, no, nah, hold on. We, 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 we got to remove it. And then Experian, hold on a minute. Wait, all the rest of the guys. Oh, no, hold on. Now Equifax got to join the party, I'm sure. And now what happens? My Jewelers Club. All of a sudden we start getting reports of TransUnion being removed. It's going down, ladies and gentlemen, because you guys are smarter now. And smarter means just this. 2020. Guess what happened? Economic uncertainty for Americans, but the average FICO score still managed to hit a record high of 710, ladies and gentlemen. That's according to Experian again. That's a seven point increase from 2019 and a whopping 21 points since 2010. We all know what happens when they try to keep your credit score at 680 and under or 679 and under. Those are the cutoffs. 21 points higher just in 10 years. You guys getting a clue yet of why they're trying to do what they're trying to do? And this is why you should be investing in stocks, in crypto. Get over there on the Celsius network. Why? Because you can borrow against stocks and you can borrow against crypto. You don't need a mortgage company or a lender when you can borrow with no credit check, no qualifying based on your assets. So the the, the rallying cry 2021 and beyond, get assets, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you can borrow against, whether it's real estate even. You can borrow against real estate, but real estate generally goes up. It goes down, it goes up, just like the stock market. goes down, goes up. So your plan is to buy it when it goes down and work on your credit score endlessly. No more going out here using your credit to buy something that has zero value. What you're going to do is use your money to invest it so it goes up in value over time for something you didn't have to work for. Making money while you sleep just like the top 10 percenters. So I just wanted to make this video right now so you guys don't misunderstand. It's not an AG problem. It's not an Ox or Hutton Chase problem. It's not a My Jewelers New Coast Direct. They're not the ones canceling people. They're not removing the accounts, the credit bureaus. They're the ones pulling the trigger. They're not your friends. And so they're the ones that keep moving the goalposts. Once you learned how to do the system like everybody knows and get your credit scores improved, they started going, oh, hey, we got to come up with that FICO 10 that I talked about earlier, resilience index. We better come up with something new because we can't have people having 710, 700 credit scores being that close to 720, and we damn sure can't have people near 710, 720, and then all they have to do is go get a My Jewelers, a New Coast, an Attractive Gym Jewelers account, and the next thing you know, they're under the 720s, 730s, where their interest rate's a lot lower for these high-ticket items, the most expensive things you're going to buy in your life, a home and a car. Think about it. And all for all those people that say a home is an asset, I, 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 please, I beg you. This is what I beg you to do. Write down your monthly payment times 36 months. Your house is not worth that monthly payment times 36 months right now. But by the time 36 months, uh, 36, 360 months go by, 360, ladies and gentlemen, your monthly payment by 360. By the time those 360 months go by, yes, your house better be worth that amount. Because you paid for it. So don't be confused, okay? You paid for it. And the same nonsense about the Ramsey plan, I'm still going to be on it, telling you to go out here and buy a car for cash. Do the math. Okay. You go out here and buy a $35,000 car. You get a five-year payment. You have a 3.5% interest note, let's say. Now, I won't even use what a good credit person would have, 1.9% 
or 2.9. We'll, we'll go, you can even do 4%. Do whatever you want, 4%. Go look and see over 60 months how much interest you paid. All right? In fact, since I'm doing this video, I'm just going to do it right now so you guys can see this. So there's no confusion. Here's the calculator. Let me go show you something. So there you go, hey, save your money, put $35,000, and that's 3 point, I'll, I'll go up to 3.5. Let's go 3.5, okay? This is just 60 payments. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. So the Ramsey plan says spend $35,000 of your money and throw it away for a depreciating asset. So now you gave up $35,000 instead of putting it in crypto instead of putting it into the stocks if you would have put that same $35,000 into certain stocks or into the stock market you could have had uh, the interest that the 3,000 what is that 3,820 3,820 yeah something like that that's it over 60 months ladies and gentlemen you could have made that in in six months or your portfolio would have been worth that in six months not five years six months okay ten percent in six months ladies and gentlemen is not even unheard of in this volatile market you could have earned almost another ten thousand dollars thirty percent on your money I mean this is what's been happening over the last two three years while Nonsense is told to people by depreciating assets for cash. Again, getting wrapped up into that. Meanwhile, you're building your FICO score, believing you're going to go buy these high ticket items. Why? All right. Why would you give up thirty five thousand cash when it only cost you thirty eight hundred in interest over 60 months? That's about fifty five dollars a month in interest, ladies and gentlemen, you can make that. If you had your $35,000 in cash sitting in a freaking 2% account. Come on. Start thinking. Well, anyhow, that's all I wanted to say in this video, ladies and gentlemen, because this situation with the uh, credit bureaus removing, uh, removing people just because they feel like it, it's come to a head. And it's going to happen. And you can see this coming ever since... About uh, the last, I don't know, five to six months ago, seven, eight months ago. But it was only in the last two months that we knew for sure. Because when Ox Publishing and Hunt and Chase for 14 years been reporting, albeit, albeit using a third party, but 14 years they're reporting and they get screwed. And then AG Jewelers reporting for six, seven years. And then they start removing their accounts. And now here comes my jewelers. And you know what's coming next. New Coast probably as well and all this based on a war that uh, could have probably been uh, in-house war who knows but all I know is the credit bureaus are not the same they're not your friend so thank you for watching thank you for listening and please like subscribe and click the bell below so you get the latest updates and I know it's hard out here that's why we always have other options we need those streams of incomes for you, ladies and gentlemen. Get those because that's what you're going to need to survive from now on. There is no more. I'm going to work for somebody and that's going to be my only paycheck. You're going to have to work for extra paychecks, whether you're working for somebody else and doing the extra paychecks or you're working for yourself. You're going to need those multiple streams of income. So don't think that you can go around it, go through it, cheat the system, cheat the hard work. You're not going to be able to do it in the long run because technology is catching up with you and everything is going to be trackable. So you got to get on it right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's still not too late. Nobody's stopping you. So get those streams of income up. Then you'll have more options. And with all that said, keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out.